Hello my Beatles friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, uh, although it's the 1st of September, it's quite some time until the end of the year, I'd like to talk with you about uh, Christmas Flexis, issued by the fan club in UK and sent exclusively to the members. Now, recently I was lucky enough to finish the whole uh, series of seven. Um, I found the uh, first six within nine months and the number seven was very difficult to find and last week I found it. So now I have all seven and I'd like to briefly talk about the uh, flexes. I'm gonna talk about the date of release, where it was recorded, who wrote it and so on. And, of course, I'm going to show you each and every one of them. So, uh, Flexies were uh, released, as I said, by the fan club. Sometimes it was sent with a newsletter, sometimes without, sometimes with the, with the inserts. And today, uh, the complete Flexi uh, of the individual year, from 1963 till 1969, to find it in a good condition, from my experience I'm talking, uh, it's very, very difficult and it's expensive. If, if it comes with a letter or with an envelope, it basically doubles the price, okay? Uh, sometimes the insert is the most rare item there. Sometimes you buy it only for the record. Sometimes you buy it only for the sleeve, okay? So I'm gonna go one by one, show you all of them. I have the complete series and I made a little notes here and we'll just uh, tell you the basic information and then we're gonna look in the Noske book and see what I missed okay so starting from 1963 that's the first one this cover to, to find it in a decent condition is very difficult I think with the first one the cover is the most difficult to find because the, the, the disc itself, without a cover, you can find easily. So, that's the uh, gatefold, and that's the back. Now, what's important here is that it has to have that kind of flip to fit the disc. Uh, if you don't have this uh, flip, that means it's a fake. And the disc itself flexi looks like this the label says the Beatles Christmas record fan club official the Beatles record exclusively for the uh, Parlophone label and that's it not so much information on the uh, flexi itself now the first one was recorded on 17th October 1963 at Abbey Road Studio 2, written and produced by Tony Barrow. He's the one who scripted and he was the um, organizer of that uh, uh, issues. Released December the 6th. Flexi number two. That's the one with a very beautiful picture. and. That's the back. Now, with this one, also, not the cover and not the record are important, but this insert. Most of the times it comes without the insert. And it's worthless. So, that's the one side and that's the second side. So, this is very important to find it with the sleeve. Uh, with the with the insert. And the record looks like this. The design of all the labels is the same. Only the colors and some text change. Number two was recorded on 26th of October 1964 also Abbey Road Studio 2, once again written and uh, produced by Tony Barrow and uh, released December 18th, 1964. 
and you can actually hear uh, in the in the second one that Lennon was annoyed the, by the fact that everything was scripted and he deliberately made fun of the notes that he had to read and you actually can hear that that they correct themselves because the handwriting was bad and so on so this is a very interesting listen okay uh, when you know that he's read, reading it from the uh, from the written notes you can actually understand why he behaves like that Number three, recorded November 8, 1965, also Abbey Road Studio 2, written and produced by Tony Barrow and the Beatles. This time, Beatles are involved. Released December 17, 1965. Here as well. That's the cover. That's the... Um Flexi itself. Here, important thing is neither of these two. Once again, the most important thing here is this insert. Once again, the insert. Side one, side two. Flexi number four, recorded November 25th, 1966, at Dick James Music, produced by George Martin, released December 16th, 1966. That's the cover. That's the back. Flexi. Now, Flexi number four came with this insert, one-sided insert. That's a letter. Number five, recorded November 28, 1967, AB Road Studio 3, written by Beatles, pr produced by George Martin, released December 15, 1967. This is in a manner of pantomime. Actually, it's very interesting to listen to them, to, to all those flexes, and getting to get into it, what are they doing there? And uh, it's not just the sound collage and noises. There, 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 is a, there is a message in every one of them. It's very interesting. And I'm not going to go in deeper into, the, into, into what you hear. Just buy it and listen to it. I'm just giving you the basic information. <coughs> so, that's the front. That's the back. And this is this one. Actually, this is the first one that has a name, Pantomime. The others just uh, are numbered. Flexi number five came with this insert. Also one-sided insert. <clears throat> Here things are starting to get <coughs> more interesting. Number six, it was recorded during November and December 1968 at various locations. Why? Because each Beatle recorded his message separately. They didn't record it together. It's uh, the first time we see a crack here somewhere. And all the bits and pieces were mixed together by Kenny Everett. Released December 20, 1968. That's the one. And this one doesn't have the paper label on it. It's just uh, flexy and there is a stamp on it. So with time, the color, the gray color fades. Number seven. Also recorded during November and December 1969, also various locations because the Beatles at the time were already split. I mean, Lennon already left the band. And once again, each and every Beatle recorded their message separately. 
the majority are Lennon and McCartney because Ringo and George appear very briefly. Once again, you better listen to it. I'm not going to go deeper into the content. Once again, mixed together by Kenny Everett, released December 1969. That's the cover. You US flexes are uh, a bit different. I think there are three or four. I don't have them actually. But this is the UK. This one actually was the most difficult one to get. But now I have it. This is the side one. And this is side two. Now, in 1970, in 1970, uh, the Beatles fan club released an album. Now, this one was released for the US market. Now, uh, for the UK market, it was called From Then to You. It's a white cover with the uh, copy of the first yellow Flexis cover in, in the center. With this one and white cover above it. Those albums v were very often counterfeited and it's easier to find the fake than the original but the original is easy to find but it's gonna cost you a lot. Now for example this album that I have this is a fake this is not the original but worth showing. So that's the cover of the US and it re it's released on oh, it's released on regular Apple. Now you can know that it's a fake. Uh, we have here on the la uh, on the label very wide uh, circle. The original the circle is much narrower, closer to the uh, hole. Okay, so this one is a fake, but worth showing. Why not? The UK one I do not have. Now, in 2017, we had a limited release of all the flexes together in this box. I'm not a big fan of this box, but naturally I have it. Here we have <clears throat> all those covers that I just showed you identical to the originals and each record has its own color this one is orange this one is transparent and the label looks like this this is Beatles here and the copy of the original label This is green, this is light green, this is blue, this is red, and this is white. Also, I kept the hype sticker as well. Also, it comes with this booklet with all the covers here. And all those um, covers that I just showed you, they are just uh, presented here in the form of a book. All the inserts, back, front, and so on. But what's interesting here that the gatefold of the third flexi is not presented here with the faces and the hats. That was kind of disappointing. But anyway, so like I said, I'm not a big fan of this box, but I still have it. Now let's go back to, uh, let's go to Noske book and read the information presented there. 
So, here's the information from the Noske book. On page 759, there is a chapter which is called The Gospel According to John, Paul, George and Ringo. And here we have the information about the flexes that I just showed you. So, I'm going to read you the information. From 1963 to 1969, the official Beatles fan club sent all its members free of charge a Beatles Christmas record each year. They were singles made on flexible plastic flexi discs. The first five of them one-sided, the last two double-sided and contained Christmas messages, special written songs and sketches performed by all the members of the group and on the later ones also by added guests. After the breakup of the Beatles, all seven Christmas singles were re-released on one regular vinyl LP, which turned out to be the last fan club a record giveaway for the holiday season 1970. The first release of 1963 was the only one to feature a gatefold cover. All subsequent ones came in regular cardboard sleeves with one with side openings. Some of them carried extra Christmas fan club newsletters or flyers, either double-sized of folded spreads as pictured as pictured on this page for the 64 and 65 issues or single sheets printed on both sides as in the case of 66 and 67 issues shown at the top of the next page The first five one-sided discs had white paper labels with different print colors for the label copy, the last two double-sided ones had no attached labels. Here the record information was directly printed on the plastic. So, here we are. These are the ones that I just showed you. And this is the uh, album which was released uh, in 17 UK from then to you Below are the front and back cover as well as the labels of the UK's fan club farewell release of the 70 Christmas Beatles LP titled from then to you it carries the color reproduction of the 1963 single of its front cover and the black and white reproduction of the remaining six singles front covers on its back. This time, regular Apple labels were used. Neither the singles nor the LPs were ever commercially available. Well, not until 2017. So, these are the USA ones, which I do not have. And this is the uh, album that I just showed. Thank you very much. That was my uh, short video about flexes. I'm happy that I have all of them. Of course, there are many more uh, items from the Beatles fan club that I don't have. Uh, the letters and posters and many, many other things. Uh, but that's it for now. Uh, that's my flexes. And see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.